What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit the gym really quick this morning. I'm gonna grab a snack, get dressed, and then I'll see you at the gym. Alright, for any of you guys that are wondering, I'm gonna weigh myself really quick. 176.6 Yo, what's going on? So, just pulled up to the gym, realized nobody's here, and I was like, hell yeah. And then realized the gym doesn't open until 7 o'clock, and it is currently... 656. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just not gonna focus. But, so we're just gonna chill out here, I guess, and wait for another five minutes. So, alright, that was a big bummer. Alright, it's 701, so. If they're not open by now, I'm gonna be kinda pissed. Ah, oh, sign says open. Alright. We're in the clear. Alright guys, just finished up my leg workout. So now, I'm gonna take you guys through a um, stretch routine that I like to do right after. Uh, it takes usually about seven to 10 minutes. Uh, just some casual stretching that sometimes I feel like some people neglect and then that's whenever they get tight and then start complaining about it. So this is what my stretching routine looks like.
All right, so there you have it. Um, again, do not neglect your stretching after your workout. That will help you recover a lot faster than if you were to neglect it and push it off and say it's not that important. It really is important. It takes, like I said, seven to 10 minutes. And I started at 8.38 and it's 8.45 now. So again, 10 or less minutes and you're gonna have a good stretch and it's gonna help you rebound and recover so you can get back in the gym. And again, nobody likes their legs being sore. It's one of the worst. I'm gonna head home now and make breakfast. I might head to Dunkin' Donuts before and get a uh, cold brew. I'm really liking those. I'm kind of addicted to them. I hate to say it, but all right. See you guys in a little bit. Um, can I get a medium cold brew? I'm sorry, we are currently out of cold brew. You got a cold? Mm. Yeah. Okay, just one moment, please. Hmm. Okay, can I do, actually, can I just do a medium, um, iced coffee with two sugars? Come to Duncan to get a cold brew, and they they just don't. Mm. I was so debated on just like leaving, but there's like literally three cars in front of me, so I was like, I might as well just. Leave. I, I mean, I might as well just buy it. You know what I'm saying? But literally, like I I, I don't understand like how you can be just out of cold brew, but <sighs> I guess. So I take that back. I'm actually just gonna give that Dunkin' iced coffee to my mom. I'm gonna go into Kroger really quick and pick up just like cold brew, which I, what I should have done whenever I went to the grocery store yesterday, but sometimes you just gotta make multiple trips to the store. You just gotta make a fun day out of it, I guess. But um, yeah. I think it's so funny watching people like every walk through the store with a camera and talking to it. Like everybody just gets like all creeped out and just starts like walking away and give you like weird ass looks. It's kind of funny, but it's whatever I guess. $4.99. Place item in bag or cart. If you have your shopper's card, scan it now. Scan your shopper's card. Thank you. Your total is 534. If you have coupons, press co system processing. Swipe or insert card and follow instructions on pin pad. Remember to take your receipt. Thank you. I got to work out all day when I'm off. I kind of like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, so as you can see, my omelet idea did not work. So I just went ahead and made scrambled eggs. Screw it. So I have two pieces of turkey bacon and about 200 milliliters of egg whites or egg beaters and about a half serving, serving of fat-free cheese. So I'm going to eat this, get ready for work, and then I'll see you guys in the next Welcome back, you guys. Guess what? I got my chipotle. Uh, I got white rice, half chicken, half steak with mild sauce and just lettuce. Kind of simple, but it's really easy. Um, what I'd like to talk about is... All right, guys, I'm back at the house, finally. I got my camera charged up. I forgot to charge it last night, but no big deal. Um, so what I w really wanted to talk to you guys about is what I'm doing right now. So I'm about three to four weeks into my bulk, and I'm currently doing a lean bulk. And I've been, the first two weeks, I started with throwing back in my maintenance calories, which is about 2,400 to 2,500 calories. And... It was kind of mind-blowing to me because after my cut, I was still trying to maintain my aesthetic look and maintain what I was eating, and that was like 16 to 1,700 calories. And that just wasn't cutting it for me. I was driving myself insane, and it's just not good. You should, whenever you're um, going into that caloric deficit, you need to dive in and then dive back out. It's something that's quick, two to three weeks, max but now that i am doing my lean bulk i really really want to get my strength back up in the gym my um, main core lifts like my squat my deadlift and bench that went down about 40 to 50 pounds during my cut which is understandable you're going to lose some strength but to the point where i was losing, i lost my strength completely and lost my motivation to even go to the gym during that time like after my cut so now that that was about two and a half months ago um, I'm now focused on obviously getting my strength back but other than that my main look as far as my diet I'm going to be in a caloric surplus about 400 calories so um, right now I'm eating about 2800 to 2900 depends on obviously the day but I try and see where my weight fluctuates throughout the week and I weigh myself every morning to try and track that. And I would like to gain about a pound of body weight each week and my ending goal weight would be about 185 to 190 pounds to see where I'm at after these eight weeks. Um, I started this new program by Zach Hummel. So I want to see where it takes me and see how much mass I can put on over this eight week period and then go from there. And yeah, so basically that's where I'm at. Like and subscribe.